tuning in this is Heather Ford with TwoBlooms.com and in this Lightroom tutorial I'm going to show you how to quickly edit your photos um, by batch editing so if you have a lot on your plate right now and you want to get your photos edited super quick I'm going to show you how to do this in Lightroom so I've already have this photo set up um, I've already edited it. you can see the before and after I used my time or my classic film collection on this photo and I've also done some minor basic adjustments. I up the temperature, changed the white balance a little bit and added a few other things. So after I'm done editing I can go ahead and I can apply all of these same changes to the rest of my photos in the film strip. Now I haven't gone through the library and um, called all of these yet but I wanted to show you quickly how given a photo collection meaning photos from the same lighting the same exposure very similar photos you can go ahead and apply these same changes onto each photo a couple different ways but I'm going to show you the way uh, that makes the most sense to me and is actually the easiest way so after you're done editing your photo go ahead and make sure it's the one that's clicked and highlighted and choose your other photos so you're gonna choose your other photos by holding down the control key or a command key on a Mac and choose all of the photos that you want to apply these changes to I'm just gonna click I'm actually not gonna click that many just to save time so say I want to change all of these photos I'm going to make sure that they're all highlighted with this photo being the main highlighted photo. Then I'm going to come over here, make sure you're in the develop module and sync. And this synchronized settings menu is going to pop up. Now from this menu you can check anything and everything that you want to copy from the original photo and put them on the rest of these photos. So I usually like to start with a clean slate and I click check none and it says down here um, you need to select a process version that's just basically just to make sure that they're in the same process version okay so check that and then I know I changed my white balance I changed uh, all of my basic tone I changed my tone curve I did sharpening I also did um, some vignetting and I also did a little bit of brushing on his eyes I just did as you can see I just did a slight dodge brush on his eyes just to make them pop so I don't want to apply those brush settings because then it'll apply it to all the photos and then it'll look kind of odd because they're in different spots on the photo so after you're done you just go ahead and click synchronize and Lightroom will work and it will make all of the same changes to these photos. It might take a few minutes depending on your depending on your computer. I don't know why they're not changing. This one changed. Uh, you can see that this one is just like this one and this one as well. Okay, so now they're they're all caught up to speed. So this is a way that you can really save a lot of time editing is given the same circumstances with the lighting and the location as long as they're a pretty uh, similar photo you can go ahead and do this I do this for all of my photo sessions and this is how I'm able to really knock down my editing time and get photo sessions done in an hour or less so you can see all of them have been edited the same way the before and after and even if you want to scroll down to your history you can see how it has changed the history so pretty cool stuff. Um, I hope you find this tutorial really useful and that you can use it in your editing and start editing your sessions even quicker. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time. See you guys.